Hello friends. Today we will see about irritable bowel syndrome versus inflammatory bowel diseases. What are they and their causes, signs and symptoms and treatment. So let's begin. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome and IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. They often present with similar symptoms making diagnosis challenging. IBS symptoms in patients with IBD are around four times more common in general population. These two conditions and their treatments are quite different. IBD is where there is a visible inflammation or damage to the bowel, whereas in IBS there are multiple symptoms related to the bowel like abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation and bloating. But tests are normal and nothing can be seen with endoscopy or x-rays. It is due to gut hypersensitivity. However, these two conditions can occur in the same patient. There are good therapies including dietary and psychological available for irritable bowel syndrome. Incorrectly treating IBS as active IBD will not only be ineffective but also exposes patients to side effects from escalation of IBD medication. So proper diagnosis is very, very important. Inflammatory bowel disease. It's a group of inflammatory conditions in which body's own immune system affects parts of digestive system. Two most common IBD are Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. These diseases affect millions of people around the world and mostly youngsters. Actually, there is no cure for this, but there are treatments to reduce and control the symptoms. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis cause chronic inflammation of the GIT. Crohn's disease can affect any part of the GIT but frequently affects the end of the small intestines and beginning of the large intestines. The inflammation in Crohn's disease can affect all the layers of the intestinal linings. Ulcerative colitis is characterized by inflammation in the large intestine and the rectum. Inflammation occurs in the innermost layer like mucosa of the intestinal line. Symptoms include, it may vary from person to person. The most common symptoms are frequent bowel movements, diarrhea, bloody stool, abdominal pain, cramping, and also may complain about fatigue, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Causes, it can come with unknown reasons though mainly combination of four factors leads to IBD. Genetic component, an environmental trigger, imbalance of intestinal bacteria as an autoimmune response. Diagnosis, blood test, look for inflammatory markers such as CRP and white cell count. Stool test, look for signs of infection and presence of blood. Endoscopy for uh, seeing inside what is going on and external imaging like CT and MRI. Complications include deep ulcers, bowel obstructions, infections, malnutrition and it increases the risk of colon cancer. Next, irritable bowel syndrome. It's a condition that affects the normal function and behavior of the intestine. In IBS, the pattern of movement of uh, food along the GIT is disturbed, resulting in uncomfortable symptoms. Symptoms include cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, gas trouble, uh, mucus in stool and diarrhea or constipation. Causes. This is same like IBD, the exact cause is unknown, though the potential cause may include sensitivity of the GIT to gas and bloating, alteration of fecal flora within GIT, recent GIT infection, Hormones may also play a role. For example, many women are getting these symptoms when they are menstruating. Diagnosis. It typically involves physical exam, pro uh, proper history taking and excluding other GI problems. The complications. Unlike IBD, the irritable bowel syndrome does not cause any inflammation or any permanent damage to the GIT or it, may, it will not increase the cancer risk. But the impact of the IBS may affect the overall quality of life. Treatments. Treatments for both IBS and IBD are mainly symptomatic that we can extend with diet and nutrition. 
Dietary recommendation must be individualized depending on the disease and part of the GID is involved. Even though there is no diet plan for IBD and IBS, diet can affect symptoms. Paying attention for the diet will help to reduce symptoms and promote adequate nutrition. Use of probiotic. It may prevent worsening of infection. Managing stress. Reduce anxiety and depression. A healthy lifestyle like relaxed and happy life, engaging with physical activities and enough sleep.